Hi, Pisces. You may be energetically connected to someone who has Pisces in their chart. You may have Pisces in your chart. Keep an open mind while watching this reading. Candle, you'll be shown the way. Okay. Career. February. Cat, a two-faced friend. Gemini, Virgo. Cancer, Capricorn. Happiness with the doves, and that could be Leo, that could be Pisces, Aries, Scorpio. Older man dealing with a relationship with an older man, Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, and Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. Cancer, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see what we got here. What do we have for Pisces? Okay. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Taurus, Leo, Gemini, Virgo. December, June. That, take care. Enemies are working against you. Ooh. I see Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Leo. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, and man. Cancer, Capricorn, deal as a relationship with a man. So let's see what we got here for you, for Pisces. What do you want to show Pisces for their future? What is going on for Pisces' future, please, Holy Spirit? Messages for their highest good. Messages of our highest good, the good intention, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What do you have for Pisces? So there are enemies working against you. Okay. I see successfully overcoming a problem and creating a solid foundation for yourself. There is great personal sorrow here. What do you have for Pisces? Truth. Everything I just said was some type of truth for you that will be coming up, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone could also be telling you some truth. Nine of Swords. This is a scandal. Gemini, Mars, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. There could be a breakdown. Um, it's also accepting help. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have a friend involved here. The Page of Pentacles is always a friend. Okay. Okay, Knight of Swords is in reverse. Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius. What do you have for Pisces? Eight of Cups. You're getting help from a Capricorn to walk away from a situation. Pisces, Saturn, Pisces, Capricorn. You're getting help from a light-haired female to walk away. They could be a student. They could be someone who, um, it's not like romantic. Page of Pentacles is like, it's a friend, okay? Now there's been lies with the Knight of Swords in reverse that seem clearly, but there's new love coming in, even if there's been a scandal. You are walking away from a situation. You're getting help from a friend to walk away, and a lot of people are gossiping about you. It's like malicious slander. You may also have mental illness. There's arguments that are leading nowhere with a... Mona Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Again, check your Neptune. Ooh. Justice, Libra. You could be getting a divorce. You could also um, be experiencing a level of, of karma or balance in your life. Balance being restored. There's a secret. That I feel like that secret will be seen clearly, though. That is you, Pisces. Um, ooh, child. Okay. That's a lot. I'll show you what you got. You got the seven of swords out here, moon and Aquarius. So someone has been lying. And page wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophicius, Pisces. So there's a child here that's either not yours or there could be a child that lies a lot. If it's not that, it's the feeling of someone trying to give you a message with ill intention. And you seeing right through it because Pisces, you're the wisest of the signs. Okay, so let me show you what you got. So 
that going on. Okay. How am I going to start this off for you? I'm trying to make space. Knight of Cups, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Knight of Pentacles, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius, Two of Wands, Aries, Scorpio. I feel like you got exactly what you wanted in a situation and you're not happy with it. Moon and Sagittarius, the Seven of Swords, Cancer, Pisces. Um, someone got away with cheating or lying to you. There's jealousy, there's moodiness, there's someone's a serial cheater or a pathological liar. They got away with it. You may also feel like you've settled and got what you wanted, but now you're not happy with it. And the higher font, Taurus energy. You may be in a constitution, institution, foundation, church, service, or a relationship or a marriage you don't want to be in. And there's a lot of threes out here. It feels like a lot of threes, but it's only two. So three of pentacles, Capricorn, Mars, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio. Three of wands, Aries, Sun, Aries, Leo, could be Scorpio. Okay, let me show you what you got out here. I'm going to make some space, move this over. Someone is going to be very emotional. Um, I think there's a lot of secrets that are coming out. There are, there's, there's multiple men involved here. There's an age difference as well, as far as if you're in a relationship. Okay, now you have the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius. The illusions following your intuition to the truth, the Aquarius, Super Gemini, seeing through the illusion. That someone lies with the Knight of Swords, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. This person lies, they're, they're a pathological liar, or they're, it's something that may piss you off. So this could be you, it, something could just piss you off, Pisces. This can also be a colleague, a schoolmate, a sibling, a friend that you see through as a two-faced friend. And they're the one that's gossiping about you. This person's gossiping about you with the Nine of Swords in reverse. They may have also messed with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fecius, Pisces. That would be in their Neptune or wherever they have Pisces in their chart. Um, there's a lot of gossip about the situation. Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn. There's a lot of gossip about this because this person was promiscuous and it's like they lied about it. Judgment in reverse. A lot of people are talking about this. It wasn't meant to be. And it's like, not just that it wasn't meant to be, but this is out of your control. That's something that like, You're blocking this person. You're blocking them out. Okay? You're blocking them out. You're going to be communicating to an Aquarius, to a Seal, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius. Or you're moving on. I feel like this is happening in the next 11 days. Some type of truth comes out. And you're just like, whoa. Okay? There was lying. It's a scandal. There's a breakdown happening. Gemini, Mars, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. There is, with the Ace of Cups, new love coming in, though. There could be a pregnancy as well. Could be a girl. And then the Two of Swords. Seeing it clearly, the secret comes out. And it becomes more clear that there's just arguments that are leading nowhere. There's no need to argue. Like, that's not love. Okay? That's not love. And then you also have you getting help from a friend. It's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's very... Um, this person is, is it's not like just, plat well, it's platonic. I mean, this is like someone that, you know, there's no like, um, you would know this because this person is very, it's like the all seeing eye here. It's like, this person has grown a lot. They're focused on themselves. It's a friend. Could be at work or it could be someone, um, someone could try to, like, this is um, a message about money um, or a new job, good financial news coming in. There could be someone pregnant, but it doesn't have to be. Eight of Cups, those walking away. You could be getting help from a light here. Female to walk away. Pisces, Saturn, Pisces, Capricorn. And it's like, um, it is lethargic. It is a little lonely. You may feel like that. But it's your justice, Libra. Someone is also telling you the truth, especially if they are Libra. Like someone's telling you the truth about a situation. Balancing your own life. You could be starting a long distance travel romance. Aries Sun, Aries Leo could be Scorpio. You'd be starting a long distance travel romance. 
Um, you could be collaborating with this person or working together with this person. Capricorn, Mars, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio. And there's sneakiness. There was like lying, cheating, stealing, and thieving. There's a short-term relationship. Moon and, moon and Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces. You're like sneaking away. Because whatever you got, you don't really want. You may not want a commitment with the Hierophant in reverse. Or you don't like the commitment you're in. Okay? And you're looking back towards your past. At the fact that there's an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, A, Sagittarius, which could be you. Um, you're withdrawing love. You're taking back an engagement or proposal from somebody. And remember, that's your free will to do. If you feel like you need to take back a proposal from someone because they're not treating you right or they're cheating in the relationship, that's your right to do. You're getting some truth from a friend. I'm pretty sure that this person is not, they, they could be at a distance from you either another country or another state or something like that you're not happy in a commitment or a relationship or something it's not what you wanted so you're taking your love back you could have also been a player in a situation and um pisces if that's like you seeing that someone played you you're like okay i get it i'm gonna focus on myself and mind my business that's what you're supposed to do you have a friend that is gossiping about you. And they also could have lied about you if they cheated with the person you're with. They could be a Gemini. Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. You could also have a child that lies a lot. If you have a child with somebody, they're they're lying. Okay, they're just a, a lying child. I don't know what's going on with them. They need a lot of attention. They may not be your child as well. So just take everything as it resonates. All right. Give me the Knight of Swords. What is that? There's a lie. It was an Aquarius. The stars in reverse. And the devil, Capricorn. They lied. They lied. Okay. Um, you may feel very hopeless about the situation. It's karmic. It's toxic. They were a player. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Zill, Pisces. That may feel devastating at first. But it feels better that it's being revealed. Um, I feel like someone just burst, like they have like an, like they go off, like they just, they get so pissed off. They lose hope in a situation. They don't get what they want, but it's not what's best for them. And they are toxic. They could be a toxic friend or they did something toxic or they will do something toxic. This person is very low vibrational and they want to make you feel bad as well. So if you're trying to go to new love, they're going to make you feel bad about it. Okay, because they don't think that they're going to get new love. Um, they want to make other people feel bad because they themselves need to show off to other people. Um, and yeah, they are spreading a lot of malicious gossip about you, Pisces. Give me judgment. King of Wands, Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords. You want to see all the um, positives in a situation, Gemini, Jupiter, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. I don't think you're seeing somebody clearly with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups, Venus and Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, King of Wands, Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ephesus, Pisces. This can also be you becoming an entrepreneur, exploring your options, being single, and realizing, you know, some things aren't meant to be. I'm going to move forward in my life. You could be moving fast to communicate to somebody. And the Eight of Pentacles. I think you could be not putting work into a situation anymore. You may have also just felt really confused about what to pick, what to go for in your life. Anything else? Because you're sort of vague about that part. Going towards the fool. You're going towards someone who's single. You're going towards an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, someone who is unattached. They're minding their business. They're single. Very single. Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fisha. They're very single. They love themselves. They are your match. Maybe you need a confirmation about that. King and Queen of Wands, they are your match. If you're single, you are heading towards somebody who is single. You're communicating to them really fast. This woman is just sort of like, la, 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 doing her own thing. 
That's who you go towards. She's minding her business. Um, it's someone who's just free. You know, they're not attached to anyone. They're giving unbiased. Like, the, the emperor will take advice from the fool because the fool is unattached to anyone. They're unbiased. They don't have a reason to lie because they wouldn't benefit from it. Does that make sense? When you're not attached to anyone and you're minding your business, it's easy to tell the truth. Okay? Woo. You're not putting any hard work into a situation anymore. Virgo Sun, Virgo Leo. I also feel like some of you, Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Jupiter, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces, are balancing a lot of responsibilities. You could have been juggling people. And that's something that this person isn't going to deal with. They are unattached from anyone. They do their own thing. And it's like, you know, what is truly meant for them will come towards them. So they remain in very high vibration like the sun. Okay. Someone's rushing towards them. You could be rushing towards this person. But you're no longer putting work into a situation anymore. You will have a victory. You're going to be communicating over water. Aquarius, Mercury, you can even be traveling or just moving on after a breakup or a split. I sort of want to use a different deck now. Let's use this one. You have a friend. This person could be a friend. Some of you, there may be an unexpected pregnancy as well. What is this? Um, I feel like some of you could even get a new job or good financial news coming in. Give me Page of Pentacles, or this is a message. And this message you got from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, a friend, um, a Cancer and Aquarius, whatever it, it could have. This message you get, it helps you leave behind um, a, a relationship or something. It's like a friend that's helping you get out of something you don't want to be in anymore, like a relationship or a situation. I don't think this person knows that they're doing it. They're just, they're being a, a friend, like a good friend. Like, yeah, give me a page of pentacles. The devil's in reverse. Ten of wands. Sagittarius, Saturn, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Anything else? Three of Pentacles. And the Nine of Swords. This is the subject of gossip. This may be somebody that... Um, it's like, you, it's not toxic energy. You can tell it's not. But you have so many uh, responsibilities. And you don't feel like there's any cooperation. Capricorn, Mars, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Saturn, Sagittarius, Capricorn. It's like you feel like you have so many responsibilities as far as like in your everyday life or heavy burdens. And you're having depression, anxiety, nightmares. Um, you feel guilty about having this friend. Okay. You feel guilty about it. Um, what's the Seven of Swords? You may be going through a divorce or a breakup and they don't know that. Like, they've kept it platonic. They're not, you know, they're not involved in any third party. They're not, um, if you told them any secrets or if you will be telling them any secrets, they have not told anyone or they will not be telling anyone. They keep the business that's between you and this person, like, between you and them, okay, as friend to the person, as friend to Pisces, okay, like, if you have a friend and you tell this person how you're really feeling, that you want to walk away from a situation or whatever, they have not told anyone or they will not tell anyone. You told them any secrets, if they've helped you out in any way, if whatever, they haven't told anybody. They've kept everything private. Um, I think your guilt is getting to you because you feel as if um, a lot of people know about something. The truth is, it's your guilt. Okay, it's your guilt. You may also feel like you want to treat this person the right way. I don't know what that means for you. You may feel like that, though. Okay? Magician. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot, that's a lot. For this Seven of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups. 
So there's been like lying, cheating, stealing, thieving, a short-term relationship. You get out of that. Venus and Cancer could be Leo. You get out of that. And you have a new beginning. You have a new sexual partner here. It's a secret. Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. You're no longer happy. The sun is in reverse. Leo, you're not happy in the situation. You're not happy because there is a lot of lying, cheating, stealing, thieving. And it's the end, Virgo, Mercury. There could be a lot of money, right? Or you've known this person for a long time, Taurus, Saturn, Taurus, Capricorn. But the magician is here. So you're manifesting something new and secret. It's a secret person, possibly. Or you've manifested a, a, a secret person coming into your life. They could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fecius, Pisces. Um, a Taurus or a Capricorn. You may be feeling depressed and feeling like the person you're with wants to focus on all the negatives when there's so much more to be positive about. Okay. What's that Knight of Cups in reverse? Judgment. Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn. And there's no Sagittarius, Pisces, Temperance in reverse. There's no um, spiritual, emotional connection with a Knight of Cups in reverse. That's why you're withdrawing your emotion from a situation. I think there's completion with the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, you could be, um, there could be a business here. There could be finances combined. There could be a marriage or a long-term relationship that you've known someone for a long time. You may be thinking of approaching retirement or even going back to school, but it's like you're communicating to a secret person, a new sexual partner. And the Knight of Cups is in reverse because even though you're withdrawing and engaging a proposal, you're having an awakening. And in that awakening, you may be reconciling with somebody else, a Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn. Okay? Yeah. You're leaving out a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius. You're ghosting that person. You're ghosting them. There could be an age difference. They could even be older than you. Okay? So, or the mother of your children or something like that. But you're reconciling with somebody else. And um, if they feel like you're playing them or something, then, you know, they don't want to get involved. Especially if you're with someone or something like that. They don't, this person, I feel like there is technically no third party, but you emotionally feel something for another person. You've manifested a new secret person, okay? Rather they know they're a secret or not, you've manifested like a new sexual partner. That's what's coming up. It's the next 11 days. This is all happening. It's the next 11 days. I keep seeing all these aces. We have all the aces out here except the ace of pentacles. Um, can you tell me what does Pisces want exactly? Well, I mean, I know you want happiness. Clearly, that's why you're here. But coming up next for Pisces, what is coming up next for Pisces, please? Five of pentacles, Taurus, Mercury, financial loss and ghosting someone. You may miss somebody, Ace of Pentacles. We finally have all the aces out here. You may feel like there's a missed opportunity. There's a missed opportunity. You're ghosting an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fuchsia, Pisces. There could be a child here that's not yours or you're ghosting someone where you feel like um, it's messages with ill intention, page of wands in reverse. Or it's like um, uninspired. Okay, that could be you, Pisces, as well. You may get pissed off if someone gets pissed off because they get ghosted. Look, no one owes you communication. No one owes you. Um, I feel like there's big financial loss coming. It makes me, okay, money is not everything. Okay, it really isn't. If it's real love, then that's not the main focus of the love. You know what I mean? But I feel as if... Um, you're, there's someone from your past coming back towards you to reconcile. There is no animosity. I think you already, this person's already in your energy. You're already talking to this person. There's going to be messages exchanged. There's already messages being exchanged. You're getting the whole truth with the Ace of Swords. The Void, of course, the part of fortune increase. It's time for you to work harder even though that's what you're naturally born with this is the truth capricorn energy saturn six this is the truth everything i just said was some type of truth 
void of course moon missing there's a period whenever the moon is in void it's like it feels really stagnant i'm pretty sure it's it could be in void right now um till it switch like it's gonna switch it's gonna switch by probably the end of the day or something like that um someone's been avoiding something from happening and it's gonna happen anyways this is also telling you the number nine it's time for you to work harder even though you're already talented or you already have abundance or whatever it's time for you to even work hard or work on your talents don't just accept the fact that things are naturally given to you injustice libra i balance it's time to make a decision someone needs to make a decision in love or about a contract or something that you know needs balance could be a divorce could be a breakup it's partnership um there's gonna be communication coming from an aquarius towards Sue, scorpio aries pisces sagittarius the crazy part about all of this i feel because the saturn is the truth it's chronos energy it's karma okay um i also saw cancer the four the fourth house the roots the number 28 two tens there's completion happening here okay you also have aquarius i know the number 23 so you already know you already know something about a relationship or a family you already know something the truth though there's some type of truth that needs to be said so that's your inner truth that's your inner truth. No one can tell it for you. I feel like you've been delaying something to happen. You really don't want something to happen. But something is meant to happen. The number 52. Something is meant to happen. The more you delay it, the worse the outcome will be. It's better for you to take control of the situation. And not to manipulate people. Okay, Pisces? Or whoever you're dealing with. Or cross-watcher. Okay? And, of course, if you're in a relationship and stuff like that, um, you always know what I'm saying. You know, if, if you're happy in a relationship, ignore what other people are talking about, gossip, blah, blah, blah. A lot of you, there has been infidelity. It's a scandal, though. Okay? And so if you want to stay in a relationship, do so. You don't. You don't. I feel like there's a divorce or a breakup happening. And it's widely discussed, but you have someone here who's a friend. They're single. That's who you're heading towards. It's almost like you don't know what to say to this person, but then you rush in anyways and say something to them. And she's like, la, 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 la. She's just doing her own thing. And you, I mean, it works out because this person doesn't have any animosity towards you. They're helping you some way, somehow, rather they know it or not. You could, they could have given you money or they could be giving you money or something like that. But ultimately, it feels more so like it's, you know, it's a friend. This person is uh, not involved in your relationship. They're not trying to be a third party. They're not trying to interfere. And um, you're getting the whole truth. It looks pretty good to me. This person's unbiased. So you trust what they're saying. That's why you rush in. So that's pretty cool. You've drawn the number 52 today. Good luck is fair for you. The Chinamen, this number of hate for ill luck seems to lurk. Around the number 52, no money, lots of work. A hasty quiller soon over a triple, you'll get your wish, maybe. So it looks like you're getting rid of an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fisius, Pisces. That would be in their Neptune. You could also be getting rid of a Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra with that Knight of Swords in reverse. That person's gossiping about you behind your back. If you've told this person anything, that's why people know about what's going on with you. Or um, if you're not supposed to have this friend or whatever, that's how people know about it because of them could also be because there's another person who's pissed off at you sending messages with ill intention like that's what's going to be coming up for you they're just going to be really mean very manipulative okay and then you feel grounded when you go towards somebody who's not attached to anyone and they're doing their own thing you would know because they're not being pushy what i mean by they're not being pushy is like they're not trying to force they're, they're not trying to send you multiple 50 million messages like you know, let me send one message to this person. Oh, they didn't respond. Let me send them another message. Oh, they didn't respond. Let me send them another message. Oh, they didn't respond. Let me send them, like that type of thing. They're not doing that. They have their they have their own life. They're not attached to anyone. They've learned the art of being connected to everything, attached to nothing. And because of that, it's um they're very attractive. I feel like there's a lot of people interested in them. 
but they're just doing their own thing they want the right thing in their life they don't want to just settle for anything this person could also be heading into a long distance travel romance or relationship it could be with you or they're gonna they're not gonna be single for long and they are just doing them they don't want any uh say or part in someone else's relationship because that's not something they would want done to them there's a certain respect level that not all women or men have but this person does what i'm saying is um they wouldn't want their partner to cheat on them so they would not involve themselves in trying to cheat with another person they don't think that's right to do to another woman whether they know that person or not they don't think that's any of their business they don't want to get involved with that business um if there's a child here it's not yours for whatever reason you fulfill your destiny in a wonderful way everything is okay with you don't look for faults under the carpet so if, if you feel like things feel good for you, then great. But if you know that there's clearly something wrong, then you know what to do for you. That's something only you can decide. That's free will and discernment. That has nothing to do with even Tarot. That has nothing to do with um, psychics and, and seers and shamans and mediums. This has to do with your intuition. Okay? What makes you happy, Pisces? At the end of the day, it's your life to live. Of course, if you like a personal reading, that information is linked down below. But Pisces, what I'm saying is you have to do what makes you happy. I think you could be becoming an entrepreneur. You're going to be communicating really quickly to somebody. And this person doesn't see it coming. It's like a big surprise. She's like, oh, okay. Uh, Four of Cups. You may be feeling disappointed, but there's something good on the way. Never give up. Never lose hope. What you want is coming soon. Okay, and your affirmation is miracles happen to me every day. I trust the universe and I'm thankful for all its wonders. So every day for a week, right? I make miracles happen 21 times, okay? There's completion here for you. Um, of course, like I said, you want to make your relationship work. It takes two. It, it, yeah, it takes two to make a thing go right. That type of thing, right? It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make a thing go right. I feel like this person has sunshine. It's like, I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. That's what I'm saying. This person has sunshine. When it's cold outside, feeling like the month of May. This person's like really free. Like, they've been chilling out in the sun. They've been baking it. They've just been focusing on themselves their, their every day. Okay? It's like they're comfortable with this independent journey they're on. It's not a path. They realize this is a journey, so they're just enjoying their life. And whoever, you know, is meant to come towards them in their life will... Unfaithful. Someone's unfaithful. Yikes. Okay. That card. Oof self-absorbed shows empathy addicted to social media see that knight of wands energy i also saw in page of wands energy it was a feeling of yeah self-absorbed i said show off that could definitely be it knight of cups in reverse feeling like you have something to prove right but this can also be uh, someone it feels very angelic to you but what I'm saying is addicted to social media. I feel like um, the scandal is going to come out on social media. So I really hope things work out for you. Remember, don't have too big of a head. Keep focusing on yourself. There's nothing selfish about that. But someone was so self-absorbed that they were unfaithful. They thought they could get away with it. Also, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. That is what part of fortune is. It's what you're naturally born with. You have to keep working for these skills. You have to keep going. You know, even when you feel like um, it's okay to take a vacation, take a break, but you have to keep working for the things that you want in your life, right? You have to show action if you really want something or someone, right? Right, I think a lessons learned, Page of Pentacles, is this person's learning lessons. They are taking these lessons and utilizing them in their everyday. I feel like you have people around you much older. There's people around you that feel like they have something to prove. Someone's also a single parent. I may do it one more time. There's people around you that feel like they have something to prove. But them doing that, being all self-absorbed and addicted to social media, 
It's going to come out on social media. They're also stalking you. A Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra stalking you or watching you. Like your every move. What like they're they're watching you. It could be even a friend. Okay, so you could be King of Wands and like you have some you have a, a two faced friend. You may even have a fire sign watching you super super closely and what's the point of that? Okay. Uh they feel like you're not sexually interested in them in the relationship or something like that. Not who you think. It's not who you think. Have you ever noticed that when you watch these readings and you're like, oh, it's totally that person. And then it comes out later, oh, it, my intuition was telling me that because I wanted it to be that person, but it's actually somebody completely different. It's usually someone completely different than you thought, okay? Okay, so keep an open mind while you're watching these readings, all right? Like, use your intuition for how you feel. You have enemies working against you. I am telling you this because you need to be aware. Spirit wants you to know it. I'm only the messenger. After that, what you do with that information is completely up to you. But your free will and discernment, be cautious. And, you know, do what's best for you at the end of the day. When you come to Psychic Sid, it's not about me telling you what to do. It's about you hearing, you know, what may happen and then utilizing your own intuition to say, okay, how does that apply to my story? What should I do in my own situation? You should be confident. You should know you're the damn king of wands. And no messages of ill intention or no uh, people talking about you and whatever or them being self-absorbed and addicted to social media or whatever should get in the way of you knowing who the hell you are pisces you are more than enough and if someone has a problem with that it's not your problem keep being you again don't get lost in illusion because you could also be self-absorbed don't get lost in the illusion of who you are so much to where you need to prove it to other people you have a long distance lover that three of wands energy you're starting a long distance travel romance with someone who's far away they're really far away and there's like a feeling of with the sun in reverse, there's been so many setbacks. It's hard to be positive. Um, it's almost like this. It's almost like that feeling when you don't want to wish for something because you don't want to even have the hope of something and then it doesn't happen, right? And so this is saying it's okay to dream. You have a strong connection with someone. It's okay for you to dream. Nothing is impossible, but you have to remain, you know, optimistic and positive about certain things. And it's also saying, um, don't be unrealistic with yourself. Um, don't place expectation on another person. Your happiness is not outside of yourself. It's within yourself. And um, when you place your happiness in another person, a thing, an experience, whatever, you give it the power to take away that happiness, right? That's almost like when you give um, love, when you give money, when you give uh, attention, time, money, energy, whatever. You also, you also have the power to take it away. Vice versa, someone gives that to you and you start to rely on it, you also give them the power to take it away from you, right? So this is about I provide my own needs, I fulfill my own needs, I am more than enough. That's something you can also repeat, Pisces. This is about you being confident. I'm getting chills on my legs and my face. Um, this is about you being confident. Be confident in yourself. Be optimistic about what you want to achieve in your life. Your goals. <laughs> Focus on your goals. What did I say? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the people around you. There's a friend coming towards you. A king of wands is a friend. If someone's immature, they want to gossip and blah, 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 be self-absorbed and addicted to social media, let them do that. But you have goals that you're going to be achieving and you have a strong connection you're heading towards. Okay? If you feel like someone's been trying to interfere or whatever, this is saying stay focused on what makes you happy. Time to move on. Okay? And crosswatcher, if you've been stalking and blah, 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 it's time for you to move on. Let people be happy. Don't hold them back. You can't hold them back. You can't. It's childish. Don't do that. And don't rely on the opinions of others to make you feel better. What can you tell us? Unhappy without you. Someone's unhappy without you. And they may be honest with you about that and tell you the truth about that, Pisces. Pisces, you could be telling this person about that. Telling somebody about how you really feel. There's challenges ahead. And there's a lot of passion and attraction. 
someone's been unfaithful as well so that's some pretty crazy energy there stick it out things will improve okay You could have also been the person unfaithful, the person you were thinking of or um, you're with. Okay, if you're in a relationship, that means that you're faithful, right? Like you have, you're either faithful or you're unfaithful if you're in a relationship. If you're single, you're incapable of being unfaithful or faithful because you're not in, connected to anybody. That's like the full energy. You're not connected to anyone. But when we're looking at this Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, what clarified the Seven of Swords, there's been cheating, lying, and there's a secret lover involved here. There is. Someone manifested that. There's also a reconciliation happening with a secret lover or something like that. Not on your path. I don't believe in paths, but what they're basically telling you is the more you try to pursue something or someone, you will realize that there's going to be multiple challenges put in front of you because of the fact it's not meant for you. Sometimes things are not meant for you. Starting a business, being an entrepreneur, I feel like you're going to become like an entrepreneur. You're going to do amazing things. Stay really positive and, um, of course, feel what you feel. You feel sad, feel sad. You feel mad, feel mad. You feel glad, feel glad. At the end of the day, this is about you being confident within yourself and not needing to rely on others in order to fulfill that. You're more than enough. I love you, Pisces. Later.